Today I'm gonna to show you guys a game from when I played in Italy and I lived in Italy for six months. For all the new people that aren't subscribed or the people that just are subscribed and don't know, I lived in Italy for six months and played soccer there, just on an academy there, a local academy. And we played against a bunch of different teams, like fifth division teams, sixth division teams, some professional academies. And in this game, as you can tell by the title, we played against a team from the Serie C, which is considered professional in Italy. We played one of the academies, the U19 team. I think it's either Serie C or Serie D, but for one of those leagues, you need at least one or two players that are O2s on the field, like starting each game. So a lot of these players were O3s on this academy, which is why they may, may not be as good as you guys think they'll be. And it's also Serie C, which is in the best level of professional academies in Italy. So don't come in the comments, oh, this is a professional academy. It actually is a professional academy. I'm not too good at doing commentary and analysis of games. This is only my second time doing it. Um, but I'm working on it, don't worry. I win the ball, I get on a little counter attack. I don't, I should've, what I should've done was kept running down the wing. I don't know why I cut inside. And I take on the defender and he fouls me, but I get a free kick out of that. But to be honest, it was a counter attack. I should've done a lot better with that. Here I get the ball on the top of the box, put it onto my left foot and get a, a bad shot off. It was still a shot off, which is which is okay, but it was pretty weak. Here's just me pressing the left back, winning the ball, kicking it out for throwing actually. The keeper plays a bad ball and I intercept it and then try to play my teammate through, but their center back covers, does a good job of covering the ball. Here I called for the ball over the top, but it was a little overplayed and I just ended up headering it and went out for a throw in. Press left back again, win it, or not win it, I kick it out for throwing. Here I make a good run behind the center back and in between the center back and left back, which was a, and my teammate found me, but unfortunately it was a bit too strong and the keeper gets it. I get the ball in the midfield with a lot of space here. And I see the left back making a good run down the wing, play him down there. Plays a good ball in the box, but then our, our striker can't convert. The ball is kicked pretty hard at me inside the box, and I can control it quite well. I try to nutmeg the defender, but I mess up with that. Here, I don't know what I just did. I control it with my back, get the ball back, and play a decent ball forward. I get the ball in the midfield, play, try to play a 1-2, but my teammate plays a little too hard down the wing. And then I try to win the ball back from the center back, but what I should do there is actually press the center back into the corner so we can keep the ball there, but here I make a run inside to get, receive the ball, but have a bad touch and then the left back steals it from me. I put pressure back on him and then he ends up playing it back. Here I receive the ball in the midfield, control it, good touch. And I try to find my teammate over the top, not a very good ball. I should have played it probably out wide, seeing that the left winger is open. Here I receive the ball in the midfield, try to not make the defender, but that ends up making us lose possession. Probably not a good decision. I received it, I try to receive the throw in, but I miscontrol it. But it still ends up getting us a free kick right there. Here, left back gets played the ball. He tries to fake me out, but I don't fall for that. Here I'm on a little, I'm on a counter attack. Good touch forward. <laughs> horrible decision here. I mean, it's not a horrible decision. If I played a good ball, it he would have been through on goal, but I try to play the left winger through behind the defender, but it's obviously intercepted. I had a lot more space, which I should have utilized. Bad decision there. I get played the ball in the air from our center back and have a great first time ball, which is then played forward to our left winger who goes to the corner and I, I'm obviously in the top of the box waiting to receive the ball. Control it, play a decent cross in the box and the cross is a little soft and behind my teammate which doesn't help him out so he can't score that header. Here I press the center back. He has a studs up tackle. It, he hit my foot, that should have been a red card. It's obviously studs up but again there aren't any refs in this game. I come inside to receive the ball, try to play a 1-2, but don't get the ball back. If I did get the ball back, I probably could have gotten a shot off, but I don't. I can't control that. My teammate gets fouled. My teammate steps up and hits it very well, but the keeper saves it off the post, but we get the rebound and score that. 
Look at that play by me, that high five right there. Oh, I'm making a great run down the wing, but my teammate decides not to find me. I don't know, I would've, I think I would've been through. Not through, but it would've been a good opportunity. I win the ball off the left back, and then find a great ball on the counter attack to our striker, who then plays it down the wing. They're on an attack and their their striker is 1v1 with our keeper. He tries to control it and then they both slip somehow. I don't know what happened there. Here I get the ball in the wing, try to take on their defender. He wins the ball with me and then I try to win it back. And they, he skills me. And then I win the ball back and end up getting fouled there. I call for the ball on the wing here and cut inside. I made a bad decision here to try to take him on right there. Probably should have just played it back simple. I intercept the ball, but their left back still gets it, and they try to play out, but then I intercept it again. He takes me on, and then they, they sandwich me, but then I end up somehow fouling him. I don't know if that was a foul. Right here, my striker has the ball. He's on an attack. I'm wide open right there, but he decides to take a shot. Obviously, he's a striker. He wants to score his goals. I think I was open there. I might have been a better decision. I get played down the wing, take on one defender, make him fall, and then try to take it down the wing. But then I should have probably kept going down the wing there, but I cut back and end up losing the ball. Not, not a good decision by me. Then we got halftime. So it's 1 1 at halftime. Second half starts. I'm, I switch to attacking mid, I think now. Here, a left back makes a great run down the wing, and I'm making a great run into the box. I get a, it was kind of ahead of me, so I just get a small touch on it, and it somehow almost goes in. The keeper saves it though. I receive the ball in the top of the box here, try to take a shot, it's blocked, and then try to pass it, and it's intercepted. So they're now in a counter attack, bad play by me. Here, I get the ball in the midfield, just play a simple pass. I find the ball in the midfield and find the left winger with the great pass, and He's through on goal, but his shot is blocked. I'm wide open there in the midfield and our center mid finds me. I see their center backs come in to pressure me and I also hear the left winger. I remember the left winger was yelling at me for the ball, calling for the ball. So I just, without even looking, I just passed the ball to him. Not a great ball, but we still end up getting on the attack. And he has a great shot and it's 2-1. Here I just receive the throw in, have a decent touch, take on the defender, and play a little behind the back pass. Nothing too special. And they're on the counter attack. This guy makes a great run down the middle, and he's one on one with the keeper, but then he gets fouled. That should be a red card in an actual game that would be a red card. And this guy steps up, he hits it very well, it's 2-2. Two -two. A good finish by him. The ball is cleared out and I just play it out wide to my teammate. And he runs down the wing, does a little skill, makes the defender fall. Here I receive the ball in the midfield, played, I lose the ball. I try to play it to my teammate but I end up losing that. And then there on the counter attack, you see me sprinting back because I know I lost the ball. And I'm just super mad about that. And then right here, the center back and I, I he was calling for it. No, I was calling for it, but he put his foot up, so I thought he was just going to clear it, so I just left it. But then he leaves it because I was calling for it, and it was a major confusion. And then they just end up getting the, sh the ball off that, but nothing happens because I, I win the ball back. And then, But they get it back, and I, I get it back again. I, I take my space here pretty slowly. I probably could have gone faster, just considering the fact that we're losing. I probably should have gone faster, but I play a simple pass back. I receive the ball in a good amount of space and play our striker. I asked for a back here because if he plays me back here, I could have played the left winger through and we probably would have scored, but I don't get the ball back and he ends up getting fouled. This clip right here pisses me off. So what happened was I win the ball off the center back here and I would have been through on goal. Look, if I, when I get up, it would have just been me and the keeper. I could have even chipped him. Look how far the keeper is out. He's literally on the edge of the 18. But my teammate, 
My teammate decides to run in and take the ball. <laughs> and look how pissed off I am. Oh my gosh. I was so pissed off at that moment. I win the ball off their center mid here, and I'm on the counter attack, making a good run. I try to play in the middle, but it's intercepted. I make a run behind the defender, and my teammate plays a, a decent ball, kind of overweighted. If I could have actually played him first time there, it probably would have been a better ball because he's wide open. But I think the defender was cutting off the pass, so I cut it back and then try to play it on the ground. Not a good decision, probably should have been in the air. I received the throw in on the top of the box, dribble a little bit, play it to my teammate. He takes his shot, it's blocked. He gets it back. And it's not a bad shot, but it's not on target. Here I see the space in between the center backs and my teammate plays a great ball over the top and I'm through on goal. I should have definitely taken a shot right there. I made a mistake. I try to play it over the defender's head and make a bad decision. He reads it very well. But in that situation, as a striker, I should be going and just getting a shot off. Here I get the ball in the midfield, take on the defender. And I remember thinking that my teammate was running down the wing, so I just pass it down. And at this point, I'm super frustrated with everything. After my teammate stole the ball and I missed the 1v1, I'm just pissed off at everything. And that's the end of the game. You can tell I'm super mad with myself because I don't think I've played very well, honestly.